The Safari Express is the fastest locomotive in the wilderness, but not fast enough to deliver all of the godly messages Ranger Reggie wants to distribute to his campers. So he's enlisted the help of his friend, the infamous inventor and engineer Jasper J. Johnson Jr. to see just how quickly he can make her fly down the rails. So let's stoke up the engine, crank up the speed and climb aboard as we deliver those inspiring letters aboard the Safari Express. Superstar Sally is mm. broken beyond repair. Oh no, this is awful. Oh. Poor Superstar Sally. Superstar Sally? Who is Superstar Sally? Who is Superstar Sally? Who yeah, is that's what I said. Superstar Sally? <laughs> She's only the greatest Jeep to ever scale a mountain, and now she won't even stop. <laughs> You're talking about your old family Jeep. Oh, I thought it was something serious. This is serious. Oh. Uh, she's more than just a car to me. She's, she's like a family. Oh, how long have you had her? Well, she's been in my family for over 20 years. Ever since Ooh. she hopped off the assembly line, she's taken us everywhere we needed to go. Well, 20 years is a long time to have a car. Maybe it's time you put her in the junkyard. How can you say that? With my mouth. How could you ever say that she's so important to me and I, I don't think I'll be able to fix her? Oh, poor Watson. I'm sorry that you're upset. I'll tell you what might make you feel better. What, what if I let you turn the Bible blimp crank? Oh, no, thank you. I don't feel like it. Oh, well, if you don't do it, I'm going to ask somebody else. I don't care. Go ahead. Wow. Well, Watson doesn't feel like doing it, and maybe I better get a helper. Anybody want to help me turn the crank on that? You want to do it? Come on up here. All right. Just come on over here, and you turn that crank nice and slow, and let's bring down the Bible blimp. Awesome. Excellent. Oh, thank you, sir. Come on up here. Come join me. What's your name? Thanks for your help there, Nick. All right. Uh, well, let's see what we got here in today's Bible story. Oh, let me see. Oh, this is oh, this is from Paul's letter to the Colossians. Hey, why don't we let Watson read it? Watson, you want to read it? No, thank you. Wow. Watson never turns down an opportunity to read God's word. Okay, Nick, I guess I'm going to have to read it. <clears throat> let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Did you hear that, Watson? God called us to peace, and he wants us to be thankful. Well, how, how can I be thankful when Superstar Sally is about to go to Jeep Heaven? I don't want to be thankful. Well, maybe giving thanks will help you have peace. How can I have peace without Superstar Sally? Well, we could pray to God and ask him for peace. <laughs> oh, Watson, would it make you feel better if I let you read the Camp Critter Clue? I don't think anything would make me feel better. Wow, he's really bummed out. <laughs> well, you know what, Nick? It's up to me and you, then. We're going to have to do it. You know what time it is? Camp Critter Time. Creature Feature Time! All right, yeah, go for it, Nick. You got it. Woohoo! Swing your partner. Oh, let's see that rhyme. All right, you want to read it for us, Nick? Sweet and peaceful in its flight, filled with Holy Spirit's light. What do you guys think that could be? Has to be a bird. Yeah, it could be a bird. And it's filled with the Holy Spirit. So what kind of a bird? Yeah. Eagle? You think it's an eagle? What else? A dove? You think it's a dove? Is it a dove? It is a dove. Good guess, buddy. Awesome. You see that? Yeah, it's a good guess. Because you know what? The dove represents peace. Did you hear that, Watson? Does that make you feel more peaceful? No. 
Oh, boy, what? Then I really feel bad for him. He's kind of bummed out, Nick. Uh, well, maybe we can learn more, Watson, if you were to jump on the old scripture cycle. Uh, no, thank you. I'm too distressed over Superstar Sally. Wow, Nick, he is just <laughs> not himself today. Could you help me out and pump the scripture cycle up? All right, get on there, Nick. And you guys have to help Nick by shouting out when he's getting closer to the top. You ready? Take it away, Nick. Awesome. Yeah, you're doing great. Keep pumping. How we doing? We getting closer? Awesome. Keep going. Keep going. Excellent, Nick. Great work. You did a good job. All right, well, let's see what this has to say. <clears throat> oh, this is from Paul's letter to the Philippians. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. See that, Watson? You don't need to worry. All you have to do is pray and have faith in God, and he'll give you peace in your heart and mind. Well, how can I have faith in something I cannot see? Well, you just have to believe what God's word says. But that's hard. Oh, that is hard to do, don't you think so? Yeah, it is hard to do. But you know what? I have a way that I can show you that having faith has its rewards. Will you help me, Nick? All right, grab that black box over there. All right, bring it up over here in front of the kids. There you go. Stand there, face the kids with it. I'm going to get this box over here. Now, Watson, I've got two boxes here. And one of these boxes has a really nifty prize inside. And the other one has a nasty mousetrap inside. Uh -oh. Now, Watson, you're not allowed to peek. You just have to reach inside and get whatever prize you get, okay? Now, here's the good news. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to tell you which box is the right one to pick, okay? But you want to try it? How do I know you're going to give me the right one? Because I always tell the truth. Uh -huh. In all the years you've known me, have I ever lied to you? No. Well, there you go then. Okay, uh, you can go ahead and have faith that I'm going to tell you the truth. You pick the Dora Explorer box. But I'm afraid of what's inside. Oh, you have to have faith in me, Watson. Nick, you have faith in me, don't you? All right, here you go. You reach in there and get your prize. You get it? Awesome! Hey, that's a pretty nifty prize there, Nick. Here, I'll hold this. Wow. Let's give Nick a round of applause. Thank you so much for your help. You can have a seat. Thanks so much for your help. Wow, see that? He had faith even though he couldn't see what was in the box. He had faith and he believed. Well, I have faith. I have faith. Oh, Let's no, see Watson, this don't, prize. No, don't. No, no, no. Oh, Ouch! Watson. Oh, wee, oh, that, that really hurts. Oh, Watson, I told you to pick the other box. Oh, silly me. I, I don't have faith, and I just can't catch a break. You know what, Watson? I have a prize for you anyway. Here uh, you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, oh, you doesn't have to call me Mr. Johnson. My name is Raymond J. Johnson, Jr., but you can call me Jasper, or you can call me Junior, or you can call me Jay, or you can call me JJ, or you can call me JJJ, or you can call me JJJ Jr., but you doesn't have to call me Johnson. Uh, yes. <laughs> Do you well, feel better now, Watson? Well, yes, a, a little bit. Uh, you know, hearing God's word and, and knowing that he is in control of everything gives me a little bit of peace. Well, you know what? That's the peace that comes from trusting God. It's hard to explain, but if you know God is in control, your heart and mind will be calm even if there are problems all around you. Well, That's what it means to have peace. Well, I guess I have a little bit of peace, even without Superstar Sally. You know, sir, I will pray for more peace. Oh, I'm proud of you, my friend. Would you like to lead us in the Camp Venture Code? Oh, absolutely. All right, Everyone let's do that. Everyone stand to your feet, raise your right hand, and say it with me. I, I will, will love, love God with all my heart. heart. I, I will love my neighbor as myself. myself. I will be a light wherever I go. Wonderful. Hey, Watson, let's invite Miss, uh, Miss Mary Lee to come on over and lead us in a nice peaceful song. Yes, Absolutely. but before we do that, we've got to raise the flag. So I oh, need to see if somebody would like to come up. Rachel, you want to come up and help me raise the flag? All right, that's Come great. on up here. Let me take this cover right off of here. And you can raise that flag. There she flies. Very nice. Oh, wonderful. Very nice. Oh, Thank you, Rachel. A beautiful dove. Thank you very much. Now, you know, we're also going to need an engineer. We're going to need somebody to help us get our train oh. started. 
Let's see. Um, who you think could drive the train? Who was it up here earlier? You want to come on up here? Come on up here. Come on up here. Oh, we got, got a got hat a for you to get this thing started. A lady conductor. Oh, for a the lady day. conductor. There and she's go. wearing red for Fourth of July. All right. Now, All right, on, what's today's man. critter? Do you remember? No. <laughs> it's right here it's on the, the flag. It's the, the dove. dove. And the dove kind of makes a sound like. Cool, 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 and flaps his cool. wings, right? Right? So we can do the dove, right? All right, so we got to get this train started. Are you ready? All right. All right, let's do it. Yes, peace be with 